Welcome to Dr. Yap Van Ha's Problem Box. In today's lesson, we are going to solve a problem. Let's see what problem we have for today. Today's problem involves a stack of cards numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. There are 10 cards. I do not have the card for one, so I'm going to let this card represent one. And the cards are arranged in a certain way. I've arranged the cards. The problem is this. How can we arrange the cards so that they are obedient? What do I mean by the cards are obedient? You see, when I spell its name, the number will turn up. Let's see. Starting with one. Watch carefully. O and E one. Do you see how I move the cards? Watch carefully. T W O two T H R E E three F O U R four F I V E five S I X Six S E V E N seven E I G H T eight N I N E nine and ten. That's our problem for today. How can we arrange the ten cards so that they are obedient? Meaning, when I spell its name, the number will turn up. Starting with 1, all the way to 10. Let's try. How far have you gone? Did you manage to solve the problem? There are many ways to solve the problem. One of the ways is to use cards and try to figure out where to put the 10 numbers so that the cards are obedient, meaning when I spell its name, it will turn off. O N E, one. Can you see where the card one? should be it should not be here where should it be o n e i think you are right one should be here this should not be four it should be one let me switch the cards and i continue t W O, where should the card 2 be? Can you continue with that method of using the cards? Why don't you give it a go? Another way to solve the problem is by drawing it out. So I do have 10 cards. Where should the numbers go? O and E. Can you see where one should go? You are right. One should be here. And then we continue. T W O. Do you see where two should go? And if you like the second method of drawing a picture to figure out where the 10 cards should be, why don't you continue with that? 
Let's try. Here we have another solution with the top card being 4 followed by 9, 10, 1, 3, 6, 8, 2, 5 and the last card being 7. So we can now arrange the cards with 4 on top and 7 below. And again we can check whether we are right or not by trying out the card trick. So, what's the answer? How do you know that you are correct? How do you know that the positions of the 10 cards are correct? You can check O and E and if you are right, it should be 1. And we have found out that the positions of the 10 cards are like so. The card on top is 4 all the way to the last card at the bottom of the pile, which is 7. If you find today's lesson easy, we can challenge ourselves. What if what if we do not use this card? What if the problem is only from 1 to 9? Would the arrangement change? Would the arrangement change a lot? What about leaving out another card? 9. What if we leave this out? and do the same trick with the remaining 8 cards. Would the arrangement change? Would the arrangement change a lot? What if we do not do the trick for numbers 1 to 10, but instead 1 to 9, 1 to 8, 1 to 7, and so on? What if this trick is done in another language? instead of spelling the number names in the English language. What if it is in Spanish? What if it is in the Malay language or the Filipino language? What if it is in Vietnamese? What if we do the same trick for numbers 1 to 10 but in a different language? If you find today's lesson easy, you can challenge yourself that way. See you in another problem box.